I am here with Frank, and it's that time again. It's that time, it's of that year time again. again. Another new show. Another new show. That'd be three this year, right? No, two, two. this year. Two. Gosh. Two. Yes. Yes. Only two so far. Now, how's it been going so far this it's season? It's been great. Uh, record year for season ticket holders. Uh, we've had a phenomenal 2013. 2014 has been uh, incredible. Of course, our, our last show uh, was a record show, and we're, we're looking to build on that. And Of course, our new show is called Beauty and the Beaver. Beauty and the Beaver. Yes. All right. What, what is this one about? Well, I've always wanted to do a show about Leave it to Beaver. Okay. Uh, my nickname actually is Beaver. Is it really? Yes. Okay. I, I didn't know my name was Frank till sixth grade. I swear <laughs> to God. I wrote Beaver Hermans, and I've always wanted to do a show about uh, Leave it to Beaver. So okay. I've got the cast that can get away with it. We kind sure. of, uh, what we do is we spoof 1959 in the Brown County Fair. Okay. And Beaver, of course, uh, uh, is going to the fair with his brother Wally. And I play Dad. I play Ward. And okay. Amy plays June. And uh, we want our sons doing something more exciting like going to the Brown County Fair. So I get them tickets to the Brown County Fair. There. And they go there, and uh, when they go to the fair, you know, they're trying to meet some girls, you know, for the, from uh -huh. the 4-H club. And uh, oh. the fairest to the fair is going on. And, uh, well, Beaver is not good with girls, and there's a, uh, um, Ali Booby is there. He's a fortune teller. Okay. And he puts a nickel into the fortune teller, and, well, he tells Beaver his future and gives him love potion number nine. And he mm. gives it to one of the girls, and, well, you'll see fun and frolic happen. Fun and frolic. Yes. We like that. And and that voice that you were doing, is that how you're going to do the entire show? Yes. I pattern Ward. I'm not the typical great father, and you'll find that okay. out in this. Where Ward was this great man. I, I, if you've ever seen a show called Fairly Odd Parents, I take yes. that <laughs> voice and that character of the dad who's just out of this world. Yep. Like, you'll see Ward and June doing crazy stuff in this show. They're not the typical 50s parents where June and Ward were. On Leave It to Beaver, so I take it to the extreme. And uh, one of the things, one of the uh, advice that Ward gives his sons is, "Son, if you're not cheating, you're not winning. Cheating is winning. <laughs> not remember what I say." So, and one of the things I uh, that goes throughout the show is uh, I really like uh, um, Eddie Haskell. Okay. And Eddie is, of course, the instigator to everything. Mm -hmm. But I think Eddie's the the cream of the crop. <laughs> now that's all I can hear is the Fairly Odd Parents because yes. I watch that all the time. So great reference. Well, that's what my 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 kids they go. Uh -huh. Oh, that's the guy from Fairly Odd Parents. <laughs> like, well, you know, well. I, I wanted you know June and Ward Cleaver were the prototypical '50s parents that were mm -hmm. you know the 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 greatest parents. You know, they had great advice, <laughs> and well, I give horrible advice, <laughs> and I am I am a father who was uh, brought up during the PLS years, post Lambo syndrome, <laughs> and what that means is I was around when. We were losing in the 50s, so that's okay. kind of my, I always say that, uh, you know, I lived through the hard times, son. <laughs> uh, so it's very funny. A uh, lot of references about Green Bay, the Brown County Good. Fair, the fairest of the fair, uh, which is go going on again this year at the yes. Brown County Fair. Yes, it is. And 4-H, all the great stuff that happens. And, of course, uh, myself and June are in the freak show, so you got to see that. Oh, you're in the freak show. Yes. What are you doing in the freak I show? I am the world's strongest man from Crimea. Uh -huh. And then my wife, uh, uh, June Claver, she plays the bearded lady. Okay. So, <laughs> awesome. Yes, yeah, funny, funny stuff. And I know you were saying that, you know, this is something that you've always wanted to do, this yep. type of show. How, now this is just a question that I just was like thinking of today. When looking at all of the shows that you've yep. done, you, how many, how many have you written? I've written, this is, I believe, 87. This is the 80, 87. 80, I just wrote a, uh, a mystery show, so that's 88 I've written now. Okay. In 15 years. I mean, it's crazy to think from the first show to what we, we've come to now and how better they've gotten, <laughs> how much, you know, I've, I've improved in my yeah. writing and, and the, the plot lines and the storylines. Mm -hmm. I really like to focus on history of, of the area. And uh, so just, it, it, it's, it's so much fun. How do you come up with, you know, the you ideas? Know, is it just something like, oh, you heard of something, saw something, yeah. you kind of want to poke fun at it, is it stuff like that? Well, I, I do on Facebook mm -hmm. every once in a while say, hey, has anybody got an idea for stories? Okay. People send me ideas all the time, and I got a ton of ideas. The, I got shows, uh, concepts, all the way through 2016 already. And there's 2016? Yes. That's a lot of shows. Yes. <laughs> One of them that's coming up is, is, remember the earthquake that it said that happened in, in uh, Clintonville? Oh, yeah, that was well, just I'm, like the booms I'm, or whatever. I'm doing, I'm doing a show next year called Clintonville, Shaken Not Stirred, yeah. and it's kind of a 007 
show. So that is, this is gonna be a blast. That's brilliant. Yeah. So people, you can send him ideas. Send me ideas. I love I mean, them. Please do. That's awesome. And this show you yeah. have um, for a charity, yes. ten dollars to. Jail Ministries. That's Jail our Ministries. opening opening show. Every course, every show, mm -hmm. uh, we open up with with a with a with a uh, charity show for a great foundation. Jail Ministries uh, supports the uh, clerical work that's done uh, in in the Brown County Jail System, and uh, we, it's a great thing, and uh, we love to do it. This is our fifth year doing it for them. So fifth year. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, awesome. So it's wonderful. And what? Um, okay, so obviously it's set in the fifties. Yep. The fifties. Um, what music are we? We're doing everything from 1959, everything. really. Everything. everything is from from the I went true 50s. Uh, every, anything from uh, gosh, it's hard to remember the artists because they're they're so obscure. But we do some doo wop. We do okay. we do some uh, some great crooner songs. Um, I get to do one song from. Uh, 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 living right next door to an angel by Neil Sedaka, one of my all-time favorite songs. Uh, just a plethora of great music. Well, wonderful! I'm excited to see it. Everyone should come on out. We'll be at the Meyer Theater April 4th through the 26th. Yes, four weeks. Four weeks. I can't believe it's going to be April already. No, this is crazy. It doesn't feel like it, no. but come on out. You know, get into the summer mood with the Brown County Fair and yeah. with Franks. I mean, time to warm up. And we'll be talking to some more people from Franks. So just stick it right here on CW14Online.com.